All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're already new here. Welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for the 2023 live action anime film called Knights of Zodiac, also known in Japan as Saint Seninya. The original series was in the mid to late 80s, which I never seen. Not even the Netflix reboot from 2019, I believe it came out. Uh, here's the plot, though. When a headstrong street orphan unwittingly taps into hidden powers, he discovers he might be the only person alive who can protect a reincarnated goddess who was sent to watch over humanity. Now, here is some of the cast. So this screams anime all over. The shooting angles, movements, the atmosphere, and the costume designs, even the added CGI effects. The full CGI scenes could have been more polished in my opinion, but they definitely made you feel like you was in an anime. However, I do love that they take you out of it with one of the plot stories and just give you a whole different type of film within the, this crazy world story. Personally, I didn't care for the main actor playing the boy, but everyone else was good. Actor uh, Mark Dankshnog, and I just butchered the hell out of that, I'm sorry. Uh, his, he, he fit right in with his role, not surprising at all. He's that kind of characteristic kind of person from of the way he looks, that he looks like he, he could be easily be an anime character, and his character was easily the, uh, the perfect uh, character for him. Now, I never saw the series, again, as I said, so I was a little taken back and confused at times. I will also point out some fight scenes came off like the 90s Power Rangers movements. It was a very interesting story for what it was, was it was a, a joy to watch <clears throat> however for me it was a one and done film and don't really feel invested to watch a sequel here's my right now come back my small thoughts so i'm honestly just been slow getting into anime as you may or may not know this was for me okay though but from an entertainment movie standpoint, it was good, but personally wouldn't say it was my type of anime I'm interested in. The style of it, it just kind of comes off like it's a little too much of the stereo, old stereotype kind of look to it. And that's just not my forte. I like things a little more regular while having that kind of difference to it, but more regular. <sighs> but what is your guys' thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. Um, I haven't checked out any ratings uh, yet. Um, I mean, obviously, after I watch the movie, I check out the ratings. But And sometimes I, I kind of come across uh, on the Google page when I'm looking at all the stuff I get ready for. The first part, the, the plot, the name, the year it came out, and the extra info. So, uh, But I don't go dive into it too uh, deep but uh it's usually like rotten tomatoes i i am the c or whatever it is and stuff so what's i i you should go into stuff yourself give your own opinion not on anyone else that's just a, a, a fact right there um but uh yeah i remember uh remember i love you all please stay safe and uh skull